lots of space for activities. 360 degree visibility all around. Get everything you need right here to drive the boat. What's up everyone? Today I've got for you the tour of a more commercial style 34 foot trawler and I want you to let me know if you think boats like this are a good fit for some cruisers. I certainly think she's charming in her own way, relatively affordable when comparing her to boats of this size and offers a lot of functionality. Remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos and haven't already. Thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right, guys, I just stepped aboard and you can go forward on these side decks here if you'd like, and we're gonna do that in a little bit. But you immediately come into this very large aft deck, very much a working aft deck, but lots of space for activities and it's fully covered, so I like it a lot. We're gonna come back to all of this in a little bit. Let's go forward first, as always. So going forward, it's narrow but safe. You've got waist high stainless handrails going all the way forward. Coming up to the bow right here, there is a horizontal windlass, a Samson post, a bow roller with a Bruce style anchor, foot controls for that windlass, and looking aft. As you can see, pretty cool looking boat. Definitely a working vessel, but there's nothing wrong with that. You got your radar up here, instruments, VHF antennas, hatch that goes down into the cabin, and then you got these right here. And to be honest with you, I don't know what they are, so if someone wants to tell me what they are in the comments, that's good. Handrails going aft. Gonna need some new paint soon. Still very cool. Navigation lights. Continuing aft, these bulwarks are pretty high and solid, and then you've got your cleats on the inside of the bulwarks. On the aft deck, there is a grill. Another big Samson post for mooring. There are davits off the back. I'm assuming they were used for fishing, but they could be used for a dinghy as well, it looks like. So that's kind of nice. There's a swim platform right down there with a ladder coming up. So a nice big swim platform. I like it. Let's go ahead and go into the pilot house. And the main cabin, really. It's all in one. So, now that we're in here, it's really nice in here, to be honest. You got a little galley right here with a sink and a stove. Storage down below. 360 degree visibility all around. A little Fridge right there, set tees on both sides, and a little table right here. But that's pretty cool. That's a live edge, live edge table. It's out of the way, just big enough. Continuing forward, the helm position is right here. This is the the main and only helm position, fully protected. Get everything you need right here to drive the boat. It does look like this boat might have air conditioning, which is nice. And then you've got a secondary watch position right here. Very cool. I like it. Certainly not the prettiest vessel. It does give working vessel vibes, but it has charm in that respect. Continuing forward, we're gonna go down into the the main and only cabin, and we've got a big V-berth up here. So really wide, kind of short V-berth, but it is long enough for an adult. But just due to the whole shape, it narrows out pretty quickly, but it starts pretty wide. And then up here, 
There is a head. I do not see a shower though. Sure, it could be made into a wet head. Then there is a an open locker right here. Going back aft, we're gonna go ahead and open up all of these compartments and see what's down below. So actually this one is not opening. It does look like it's bolted down. So I'm actually gonna assume that this is the cargo hold you know, for the working boat. So that's probably where the lobsters or crabs or fish would go right there. And then these compartments in here are gonna lead down into the engine room. Lots of space right there. And then there's a big, big door right here. And you can see that massive engine. So single diesel, but lots of room down there. Lots of space down there, really nice. Very cool. And you can just, you know, you can get all the way down in there if you wanted to. So yeah, given that the engine is right here, that's gonna be a big cargo hold right there. I just can't access it right now. I apologize for that. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous blow decks walkthrough from bow to stern. This is gonna be a pretty quick one because this boat is, while it's nice and spacious, it's pretty simple. So what did you think? I want you to let me know in the comments down below. I think that this vessel offers a lot of space and livability in a relatively small package. As with all of our videos, the broker contact information and the current asking price is going to be in the description below. That's going to be it for this one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell as well if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong, but I learned my lesson Come sit here with me by the fire and let it go for.